Hello and welcome. My name is Ajax Post and join me here once again in Train World as we're watching one of our latest trains. It's a little bit short, but then again, the capacity, well, a large capacity rather, is not needed as it takes passengers from Fort Worth to Indianapolis, I think. I could tell you if I turn the UI back on, but I'm not going to for the moment. <laughs> no! Right, there have been a few updates to the game since we were last here. Um, nothing too significant, I think, in terms of what we're going to need to do or what we're doing today. We're still awaiting a major change to the economics of the game. Uh, the dev has promised he's going to be rework looking at that and reworking it and making it more perhaps understandable and uh, more, well, more engaging and a more, what, why are you stopped? Well, that's interesting. Why does it stop there? Okay, I know I'm going to turn the UI on now. I'm slightly confused. I think I've seen it do this before and just sort of nodded it, nodded it through. But if we look at our line... Ah, are you the signal? Okay, and if I cut, I need to. Oh, I've taken the the train, the follow off. So no, 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 it's uh, edge scrolling, isn't it? If I click on that signal, okay, if I go into signals, click there. Does it tell me? It is on the line. Okay, I don't actually need it on the line, do I? Because there's no crossover. I was thinking there would be crossover. You may remember when I put this second passenger line in, I was thinking I could have them alternating platforms and all sorts of other exciting stuff. I don't think I need to do that. Well, I haven't done it because there simply wasn't room here to put the switches in. So I think if I take that... Uh, if I need to go back into that, edit this route. So if I take that signal away... Everything still works perfectly. So maybe that's what it's doing. Maybe it stops at signals when they're put down as waypoints, which is a bit clunky if you ask me. I'm not entirely happy with that. But there you go. Anyway, uh, forgetting all that, what are we going to do today? Let's have a look at our main map, our world map, and also our ongoing tasks, which are here. We have got some tasks. Oh, I can't move this. <laughs> Oh, that is annoying, isn't it? That's like so frustrating. I'm so used to this game having that wonderful ability to move dialogue boxes around the screen. There are some boxes which are not movable. And yeah, there you are. that's me being frustrated. Okay, we've got some... Is that sugar beet or something? Uh, what's in Austin? Uh, you're Austin, presumably. And that is... It does... It did touch sugar beets. Okay, going to... Where... If I turn the industry on, no, click that. That is sugar, isn't it? Yeah, so beets or, sh or sugar. There's a comma in there, so either beets, comma, or uh, sugar cane will make refined sugar in, uh, in, Os in San Diego there. We could do that. That's actually a nice, very quick and simple route to do. But what I'm actually thinking, going back to my tasks list here, is we could do a Fresno to Baltimore passenger line, which is, uh, where's Fresno? It's over here. So, oh, it's actually, this, uh, is that in a different region? It is in a different region. That's Baltimore. No, it's not. That's Baltimore. So we could do a passenger route there, which might be fun. But what I'm actually thinking of doing is this one here creating or generating 500 lumber in Philadelphia and Philadelphia is here why am I thinking of doing that because I mean here's the wood from San Jose that's a fairly simple but a little bit of a bendy roundy mountainy kind of route uh, to the wood there but if we uh, scroll out here we can see that Houston here requires lumber and steel to make tools and we already have steel being produced here in Fort Worth. Yeah you see where I'm going now so I think what I'm thinking of doing is creating one lovely great industrial chain here of lumber so that will be the task that we get to do. Uh, generating 500 will take a little while, so we won't get that reward immediately. But then we can build into the Houston here and have a, a second freight line coming up here, taking the steel 
that's going to be fun. Well, that is going to be fun, actually. Yeah, <laughs> because we've got. Um, so where's our, our freight? Our freight station is there. Can we? We'll look at that later. We'll we'll worry about that later. Let's have an idea in mind and not plan how or work out how to do it. Yeah, that that's best. Obviously, the best way of doing it. And we're gonna have we're gonna have to build bridges across these waterways or across the bay here. Can you build that longer bridge? Right, let's crack on then. So let's put some guidelines down. We're going to take some lumber. Uh, we'll take this colour here from there, round there, along here to there. Okay, and then we're going to take the lumber that's produced in Philadelphia from here. Ooh, these look like quite steep slopes. Now, should I? Oh, I, I, I could go across the bay, perhaps. I wonder if that's possible. To go over there. We could go round and onto that little. Ooh, what's that called? Is that is that an archipelago? I'm not entirely sure. A little sort of strip of land coming out there. We could go around here. If we went round here, across the river, then that would have, that could link in then to whatever line we come up with coming out of Fort Worth. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I think I'll actually do that. We'll go across here. And we'll have to have a passenger route as well coming out of here. Going to San Diego. Hmm. Oh, we could have that coming out and doing a joining up there. That's a bit long though, isn't it? Right, let's 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 do this. We we can always come back and reroute, can't we? He said, <laughs> as if he had some vague idea as to what the heck he was doing. So we'll build our route along here and then head into Houston a bit like that. Right, so nice and simple. Let's create our wood route down here. Oh, it's a big forest, isn't it? Somewhere down here near San Jose. And at a station, it's going to be. Oh, you do everything. Oh, you, you do everything, don't you? This one does not work for us. This one doesn't either. This one, this one, right. So this does wood, lumber, steel, and bricks and glass. Okay. Right, we're going to start with this one then, because that's essentially all we need here. So, if we put this in here, now, this is not a passenger destination, so we don't need to worry too much about passenger routes affecting our line here. So, uh, let's close in. So, if we come in from there and go out that way, that. There you go, that's our station. And we're going to need one up here do 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 come on there you go i could see, uh, there we go so this is philadelphia which is a passenger destination but so uh, our station here we can use the same one same type at least and what you're going to need to do because we're going to have trains coming in uh, out here do we want a multi-purpose one which is, wow, substantially more expensive. So it's 28 and 3,000 maintenance. Or, for the big one, 118 and 27, 28,000 in maintenance. That's, that's huge. No, I'm not going to do that. We're going to do a cheaper, cheaper one. I've got 13 and a half million in the bank, so I'm not quite sure what I'm worrying about, to be honest. But there you go. Uh, yeah, I think if we do it that way around, yeah. Yeah, I think that works for me. Because then we're going to be going in and out and everything and around and about. Right, so down here, we're going to put some track in. It's going to be single track. We're going to allow for... Br Ooh, actually research. Well, have I got anything I can research now? I am very close. Ooh, I could actually go into the new era. Ah, now the thing with the new era is that, that none of me old trains will be available to me and if I remember correctly and who was it 
Mike or someone, I think. I'll I'll put I'll reference you in an annotation. I'll put I'll put a text up uh, on the video. But uh, another player of this game and a watcher of these videos, thank like, thank you so much for watching and commenting. Uh, did let me know that when you go into Era Two, you get the big boy. Oh yes, a proper big, very muscular steam engine from the US of A. But because I'm playing in normal mode, not not sandbox, I will lose all my existing locomotives. I don't think I'll go into Era 2 just yet, but what I might do is enable cheaper bridges, because we're going to put bridges down on here, aren't we? Yeah. But yeah, as you, as you notice here, the cost of unlocking technologies goes up for each era. So I'll need 300 research points to get through era two, and then I think is it 500? Uh, yeah, 500 for era three. So we'll leave it like that for the moment. Okay, so we're just going to do ordinary track. We're going to do brick bridges if we need them, and we will come out of here. Yep, that's okay, and I'll come around here. And I've remapped my complete the, the building key to Alt. And uh, there we go. Right, so let's build all this. It's interesting the way it could. It's, it's a bit like the other train games <laughs> that I'm not going to mention anymore, um, where it automatically builds in a curve. If you start on a curve, it automatically sort of does a curve for you when you're laying the track. Which is probably perfectly accurate and perfectly rational. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so let's complete all this and I'll be back with you in a second. So we've got our track coming in. And we need to put in a track coming out. Now we are going to have a another service coming in here to take the lumber out to Houston <laughs> I think that was yeah that was the name of the city wasn't it so we're going to need to make sure that this freight circle has the capacity to handle multiple trains it's big enough and wide enough and long enough to handle all the signaling that we'll need okay so that's that done so that's that route I just need to complete the circle here down at San Jose so I'll go back into tra uh, train uh, track rather and that's it notice the color of that little pin changes as you actually click on the end point of the rail so you know exactly what you're doing uh, well that's, that's a bit tight isn't it that's going 40 now I don't want to go that slowly so I think We'll cut this straight bit out and do that again so I can maintain more of a... What's your problem, matey? There you are. Uh, so I can contain more, maintain a more sensible speed as we connect into... I didn't mean to press C then. Let's uh, go up there. And yeah, you can see your maximum speed there is 90. That's looking good. Is that a connection? A hundred. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And is that connected? It is. We've got green lines going throughout. That is awesome. So we're going to... Now, I don't think the industry here is not running at the moment. So when I'm building my line to take wood out of San Jose up to wherever that is... Oh, I've forgotten the name. Philadelphia. <laughs> Because this industry is not working, I'm going to start my line here in the destination. So that by the, by the time the first train gets to San Jose, there should be some wood waiting for it. We won't worry about signals just yet because we're only going to have one train on there. I'll worry about the signals in a minute. So we need to create a line. I'm going to add a line. It's going to be coming from this station here. Uh, I will rename them. This station is here. Good, it's a contiguous colour. Um, is that bright purple? Is that okay? Uh, we'll accept that. 
We'll give it a name. So this is San Jose to Philly Wood. Sounds good to me. And can I change? Oh, I can change the names of the stations here as well, can't I? Oh, that's nice. Again, I love those games which are properly designed, like real software. A, ga a game is real software. Let's not mince words. A game is real software. Um, but I love it where you can drill down and through and all the dialogues are connected in the most rational sense that you would expect them to. Um, so uh, we'll call this Forest. There you go. Now what train do we want? It's not a hugely long route, is it? So we could use that or that. I quite like the Atlantic. It is fast. But not hugely expensive. Well, it's fast enough. The power is 355. It's not very powerful, mind. But I mean, it's only, it's only going to be a small supply at the moment, isn't it? So I think we're okay with that. So we'll add the Atlantic. We want some, is it flat cars for wood? Or platform, as this, uh, this game likes to refer to them. Yeah, we'll add. Ooh, how many? That's a capacity of 54. Well, well, we'll we'll take that for now. That's good, and we will add you to the San Jose Philly Wood Line. Now let's bring that train up. Oh, let's get the game running. And let's go find that train. And it's very slowly coming out of there. We don't need all the markers on. And I can get rid of the grid lines. Uh, that one. Lovely. So uh, I may increase the capacity on that train depending on how much wood is stacked up here at the forest. Right, production started. It's gone green. That's splendid. Now, let's have a look. Now, this is going to be all the more interesting. Can I get that? Oh, I can drag it. You see, I love dragging boxes. <laughs> is that me? Is that just me that loves doing that? I mean, it can't be, surely. Now, we're going to have to... Ooh, this is going to be... Oh, this will be... Ah! Yeah, we can do this. We can do this. So we're going to take a track off here. Going out that way. And then heading up here. On, way, on its way to Houston. And we'll abandon that for the moment and come back here. And when it comes down from Houston, I want it to connect here. Is that is that right? Is that going to work for us? Or do we want a, a larger gap there? I th we we may redesign this. We may when we add second track to it, perhaps when we double track it. So I'll accept that. Right, so that's coming in there. I'll we'll worry about the signals later. Let's get this track going up. Uh, so there you go, it's got the dark blue pin. So I will follow this through. Keeping an eye on my costs. I've only got, I've got less than 13 million in the bank. So yeah, don't want to get too carried away with spending money. So I'll keep an eye on costs here and slope and the speed. And we'll see, oops, there you go. Yeah, that will do. And I'll track this all the way out and I'll come back to you uh, shortly. Uh, no, we haven't got very far, to be honest, on this route yet. We've already come to a decision making point here. But if you can see here, this is a relatively, it's not terribly steep. It's not a, a big incline on this part of track here. But it wants me to put a tunnel. The default is to put a tunnel here, which costs over a million. Uh, oh, I could take it down to less than a million, but the total price is still quite expensive. So do I want a tunnel there? So where am I going from here? I'm going across there. Mm. We're going across there, so that's going to be a bridge. Do I need a tunnel? I probably do need a tunnel, but can I actually reduce the cost of that by actually going back on this segment I've got already placed here? So if we take this away, uh, go into demolish, not signals. If I take that away 
and go back into track, can I avoid having a bit of a tunnel here? So you see that's not, that's quite steep, 1.3 as opposed to 0 0.4. It's all quite expensive though. But I think that might reduce the need for a tunnel. I think, I think that's, that's okay. Ooh, but the incline here, presumably you're, are you going down? Looks like you're going down from there, presumably. It's a little difficult to judge, to be honest. But uh, I think we do that. And this is a nice bridge. So if I go across there. Okay, that's. So that's a, that's a nice straight route. That's 1.2. It's all 1. 1.2, 1. 1.3, isn't it? That's a very low-lying bridge. Should I make it taller? I'm tempted to make it taller. And I can do that by pressing the A button. That's it. And inclining it upwards a little bit. That is quite a bit. It's going up 0 0.8. That's okay, I think. Or that. Yeah, we're gonna. It's gonna cost more to build that embankment. I think that's all right. So if I alt on that, so if I save that there. Okay, and uh, we will turn that back to automatic. What's it get? Ah, it's, gonna, it's trying to go back down to ground, isn't it? So what we need to do is keep this at the same height. Ah, that looks like flat, doesn't it? Yeah, you can, inclination is zero. So that's all right. I mean, I, it's just because I was concerned that my bridge here was too shallow. Ah, okay, so we're building all the extra embankments to support the bridge on the other side that's hmm. where are we going though right we're going around there so I'm thinking I mean that's the that's the track that I the uh, the line I've, I've thought in my design in my plan but I mean bridges ought to be straight really shouldn't they so if we do that I think that's a reasonable height for a bridge, don't you? Yeah, I think the other one was far too close to the waterline. Uh, if I change that to, whoops, to S, sorry, to S, but to, actually that looks better, that's coming down to ground. And it's a little bit cheap, I think that's, Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. Let's carry along here. Okay, a nice easy slope. Go around there. And we've still got a long way to go, so we're going to be curving around here. Looks good. Right, I'll get this done. And I'll come back to you either at the... Ooh, more bridge, more, uh, more tunnels. Okay. Oh, okay, so that's a, that's a tunnel there, which is very small. Oh, that's not a tunnel, but it is quite an incline. Ah, uh, yeah, the the incline. Oh, yeah, the inclines around here are all quite nasty. Quite nasty indeed. But that that looks okay, I think. I'll take that. Right, yeah, so I'll come back to you when we've done this. Or anything else exciting and interesting happens. A 4.1 a incline, I don't think we'll manage that, no. Not with these little old trains. 
Well, it didn't take me that long, but we're here now on the outskirts of Houston. And again, we have a slope issue. Yeah, a four point something incline. My trains aren't going to like that. No. So we'll cancel that. And is there anywhere? Where can I put my station, actually? So the station, which might Im <laughs> which might help me determine where my track needs to go. So this is going to be, it's going to be taking in lumber, but sending out perhaps tools, which this station doesn't. It just picks up lumber. So, now this station here does take tools. Now, will that station accept lumber? I don't know. Do you know what? We're going we're to try it. I think we're going to try it. So, we're coming in there. We've got lots of nasty inclines and stuff. And you're coming in. You probably want to be that way round, I think. It'd be nice if it told you what the height was on these inclines, on these contours, so you know if this was up and this was down, which it probably is. That, yeah, it would be nice, I think, to have the the height on the, on the terrain map somewhere. Okay, so we're going to place you there. Now you are a tools station, but I'm hoping that you will also accept lumber coming in. We shall see. Uh, some track. Uh, we want you whoop, to come out of there. That's good. Uh, that length is probably too long. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so if I put you there... Okay, that's quite an expensive bit of track, but the incline isn't too awful. And the cost is expensive, but not outrageous. So that's you coming in and going out. Oops, I need to make sure that's, that's it. The incline is too... Ooh. Okay, do I, can I, do I need to do then a reversible uh, loop here rather than a, sim a simple Ooh, that, that works but it builds a huge great bridge that's that's ridiculous that's okay that kind of works the incline is going down is it oh so it's Houston on the hill that's a nice name for a town is it Houston on the hill they should have called it that Okay, we'll, we'll accept that, and we'll then come back down. Or maybe we won't come back down here. Can I, I can go there. Go there. Then can we come? No, no, no. Just doesn't like the... Inc <laughs> no! Well, you, you like doing that, but that's not going to help me connect this bit of track, is it? Absolutely not. Can I come down here anywhere at all? That's not so steep. Okay, if I do that, can I... No, no. It's... Okay. It's the wrong shape. I know it's the wrong shape. Can... Mm. Oh, that's, that's in a cut there, isn't it? That's part of the problem. Okay, let's cancel that. Can I take this bit... Right, if I take that bit away... That's a large bit. I don't want to take the, that whole bit. Let's take that bit away. Okay, can I connect that? No, I can't. Can I connect that? No, no. Doesn't like that at all. It does that in the cut. All right, we'll put you back then. And let's get rid of this. There you are. And you. 
Or is that going? No, that's going up there, isn't it? No, I don't want you. Let's do this, all this bit again. What if we had that there? Coming round here. This looks okay. And then went up here. And then there. I think that will work. Okay, cancel that. So rather than having the long loop round, we'll have a reversing system here for Houston. Which might be entirely the wrong thing to do because we're going to have to put tools coming out of here as well, aren't we? Yeah, this might be hugely detrimental to our performance as a railway system. Okay, so you're coming out of there. No, don't, don't, don't cancel that. That's it. And we want you to... Okay, that's a slightly weird, weird angle, but it'll work, I suppose. Yeah, so if I accept that... So we'll have the train going in there. Now, will that work? Actually, we may want this to loop like that. Not sure. Actually, that looks quite good. Let's do that. So let's remove this bit. And do I want to get rid of that bit? Oh god, I'm gonna to have to put you in. There we go. And oh hmm, we, we might use that for something later. Right, signals them. So we're gonna put you in there. You're gonna be our reversing point. That's good. We are going to have signals here. So you'll be waiting in that direction. That's good. And now we'll put signals down here, I think, to save blocking. That's it, to save blocking that switch there. Okay, that's good. I think we've got. Oh, we haven't got contiguous because we haven't gone down to here. Uh, Philadelphia, was it? We, we, have we not completed this loop? Oh, we have. We have. Oh, yeah, yeah. We can see the tracks there. That's fine. Okay, so we want some signals around here. So, joining the... Yep, so that's going back to... I think that's going back to San Jose. That's right. And this is coming in from San Jose. Like so. That's good. And that up there is probably going up to Houston on the hill. Yeah, we've still got some sort of terrain graphical glitchy things going on here. I'm not going to panic too much about those because they don't seem to affect the operation of the trains. Um, that looks okay, actually. Yep, we could have you put a signal there just in case it helps, and a signal here just in case it helps. Where can I put it? I can put it. Seven meters outside the station. That's good. And here. Uh, do I have signals there? I don't have signals there, do I? Oh, I can't. You, you can't run the game when you've got <laughs> when you've got signal on. Um, okay, I'll we'll put the signal in there. I think that's fine. I think that should work. So we want a new line, and it's going to be adding a new line. Um, uh, should, should we start? Well, well, we'll start from here. 
So that Philadelphia Wood. And you're going all the way up here to Houston, which is up. Where is Houston? Ah, there's Houston. To there. And then to that signal. Okay, so why can it not get back? Okay, let's just create this line to start with. So for the Philly to Houston lumber, we'll get that off there. So that's going up there. So it should be able to come in that way. Yeah, come up here to the signal. Oh, did I? I did not commit. I didn't commit it again. Ah, wish I'd stopped doing that. All right, so I'm going to edit this route. We're going to put on Philadelphia Wood to Houston One, and then can I see that signal in there? Yes. So you can't get from the signal back to Philadelphia for some reason. Why ever not? Let's get rid of that grid line to start with, or guideline rather. I should stop calling them grid lines because they ain't. Uh, let's get back to the main map. So that's you, you're going down there. We've then got this dual track here, That's for, or dual operating track. You're going all the way down here, that's lovely past wherever that is. We've still got the green lines on there. That's super. I mean, maybe it's this loop that we've got. A bit of a tunnel. Still got contiguous green lines for our track. This is a very long way. <laughs> Over the bridge. Very long way indeed. Maybe I, yeah, I haven't completed this loop at Philadelphia. Which is interesting. I thought, hmm. But then, if I haven't done that, why have we got these continuous, continuous black, black, bl green lines, green lines? Yes, green is not black. So you're there. So you're. Ah, no, 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 no. That's that's. Yes, that's yes. It's not continuing the loop. Absolutely, yes. The game is right. I haven't finished the job. This is dreadful. Quite outrageous. I want to do. you I think like that that is quite a big circle but it should work right so that goes around there we're going to need some more signaling on there like so and also on here like so that's good yep so the train can come in from Houston coming down here Round that bit of the, yeah, on there, that's good. Round there and back off again. So if we go to the lines, Philly Houston, awesome. Continuous colour there. So we just need, I've not given it, an, I have given it a name. We need to add a train. Right, this needs to be fairly fast. Uh, the Mikado, I think, mm, there's not much difference in power, is there? And seeing as we're only getting things set up now, I, I think, yeah, go for a slightly cheaper option. So we'll add you. And this is going to be carrying lumber. That's you. And uh, we will put three of you on. Okay, that's good. And we'll add you to that line there. We will find you. No, don't do that. Then press the space bar to get the speed going. And there he goes, carrying nothing at the moment. Awesome. Right, let me roll this forward a little bit and we'll see if this actually delivers wood and then also delivers lumber to Houston. That's the thing I'm most interested to see is whether I can actually deliver lumber to a tool based station, if you see what I mean. So I'll see you in the blink of a sexy video effect. Time has moved on 
and our wood train has delivered nearly 70 in total uh, planks, of, well, logs to our San Jose sawmill here, sorry, Philadelphia sawmill here. Um, again, in fact, I actually extended that train. I added another platform wagon to it so it could uh, take a fuller load up to the sawmill here at Philly. But I'm not seeing any lumber listed here. And I'm just thinking, is that because the station at Houston is not a lumber oriented station? Because I thought it's going to be shipping out tools but it might accept lumber. It could be that I'm wrong. So what I'm going to do is change that. I'm going to save this to start with, just in case things go horribly, horribly wrong. So we'll save this little game. And then I'm going to go back up to Houston and change out this station here. I wonder what chaos that's going to cause. I think we all know how much chaos it. The, the station assigned to the lines will be deleted. Yes, that's okay. The line will probably give me an error, but that's all right. So what I want is a station that does tools, which is you. Okay, can I just flip you around and slot you straight back in there? No. No, of course not. Okay, we'll cancel you. Nope. Cancel you. We'll get rid of that little bit of track. Like that. And put the station back in. Which is you. Oh, uh, no, it's the lumber one I want, isn't it? Yes, that's right. Oops. Control. There you go. Oh, it's not going to click. It'd be nice if it could snap to existing track, wouldn't it? That would be lovely, but it's not going to. I think that's more or less the right place. So if I put you there, let's put some track down. See if I can connect it up. Sorry about the random zooming. No, it's obviously at a slight angle. Bother. <laughs> So we'll get rid of that and that. Put some track back in. Yeah, you're going to be slow, but that's all right. Slow and wonky. Cool. And you, you can go there. That looks good. Did we have signals? We probably had some signals here, didn't we? Like that. And that going up there. That's fine. So just need to check this line, which is that line there. You're missing. If I put you ahead of the signal and edit you and put you in there, take you away and we're done. We're good again. Yep, we are good again indeed. So let's get rid of you, let's get rid of you. And let's go back to our train, our Houston train. Okay, Philadelphia Wood is still not supplying any lumber. So we might have to wait and see if it does. There's nothing on that train yet, no. Okay, right, again, I'll fast forward a bit and see where we get to, see if it does actually work. Aha, it does work. We're now getting lumber stacked up here at Philly Wood, waiting to go to Houston. I'm assuming that's because I've changed the station and not because I had to wait that amount of time, he said, hopefully. Of our tasks, we should eventually get, yep, yeah, this, uh, this reward here in due course. So we'll come back and see that, but in the meantime, we're going to end this episode very shortly, and we're going to do that by progressing to Era 2. Full steam ahead to the industrial area. It's going to cost me 300 research points. That's good. There we go. Job done. 
but as we noted before if I'm going to add any new trains we only have oh it's not the big boy why did I think it was the big boy where's the Ooh, I did I'm sure I saw the big boy come in here at some point unless that was era three it can't be era three because that's that's diesels and electrics and stuff oh have they changed is this one of the things with the update no but anyway as I was saying yes when you get into a new era if you're running the normal game the kind of campaign if you will though it's not really a campaign all the previous era vehicles and wagons and stuff are lost they are no longer in production you can only purchase the latest models starting for for, for that particular era so we've got new cargo wagons and a new passenger wagon and the new engine the uh, 280 S160 looks very bright and breezy it's oh it's not as powerful it's not as fast oh, I'm not terribly impressed by that I'm sorry well, we don't want that train anyway we, no we, we don't uh, if I can go back to research for a second ah uh, there's the big boy it comes along a bit later so I've got a yeah another 600 or well, another 500 research points and we can get to the big boy which is a proper one two eight kilometers per hour whatever that is in real speed uh, I'm not entirely sure but anyway we do at last appear to have another working industry a proper long distance industry here taking us all the way from the forest of San Jose up to the tool making factories of Houston where's the train on that there should be where, where's my train does it not show me my train come on it does there's there's those trains where's the Houston train that's curious so where are, heck are you oh you're just right you're just wrapping up you're just coming back from Houston good so I'll finish on a ride along with that train and I'll see you in the next episode. So, as of course, as usual, of course, if you've enjoyed this episode, it'd be great to hear from you. A little bit of a like would be lovely. Just click on the old thumbsy uppy button. Even better if you've got anything to say about what I'm doing with the game or the game itself. Or if you feel like having a train or a station named in your honour or in honour of something that you're particularly keen on, then just please do write a note into the comments box below. That would be awesome. Other than that, of course, if you've not already subscribed to the channel, you could do that now. And that way you'll know when I upload another one of these or any of my other Let's Play series. But from me, Ajax Post, that's going far too fast. But from me, Ajax Post, here in Train World, until the next time. Bye bye for now.